Good evening, Stevens Point. I'm Lily Breitenfeld. Tonight on SBTV News, Waukesha Parade suspect found guilty, Afghanistan refugee in Stevens Point, and SpongeBob the Musical set to open this weekend. All of this and more coming right up. Suspect of the Waukesha Christmas Parade case, Daryl Brooks, was found guilty of all charges on October 26th. This ruling came weeks after Brooks chose to represent himself in court after his attorneys withdrew from the case. The prosecution was able to prove that Brooks intentionally put lives in danger and charged him with 76 criminal charges, with six counts including first-degree intentional homicide. Brooks faces a mandatory life sentence for the conviction, and parole eligibility will be decided at the sentence hearing. On October 20th, the Stevens Point Police Department received a call of an active shooter within the high school area. However, on a upon arriving on the scene, they found that there was no such threat. This call was similar to many other calls to districts within the Wisconsin area, informing police of an active shooter with people hurt only for police to arrive with no threat. Nearly a dozen high schools across Wisconsin were forced into lockdowns. Police departments across the state released statements on the matter. The FBI released a statement condemning the act of swatting and that they will work with local, state, and federal law enforcement partners to act upon threat information as it comes up. No suspects to this string of false reports have been identified. Last August, the United States withdrew from Afghanistan, forcing Najib Azad out of his country, seeking refuge in the United States. Azad was a leader of a major progressive party in his country and the former spokesperson for the president of Afghanistan before he moved into Stevens Point with his family and children. After finding safety, he began writing down his experiences, writing for himself, but also for all other refugees who watched his country fall back into the hands of people he calls terrorists. In a statement from WAOW, he said, My audience is everyone. Every immigrant, every politician, every journalist, every researcher, every student who ever thinks about life and human beings is in this book. Halloween is right around the corner. If you plan on trick-or-treating, it is important to remember some safety guidelines to ensure the scary fun doesn't turn into a scary funk. Always remember to check the wrappers of candy before consuming. If something doesn't look right, throw it away. Be sure to only go to houses with porch lights on and watch for cars and other vehicles during Halloween night. For those in the Stevens Point area, downtown trick-or-treating starts on October 29th from 3 to 6 p.m. and citywide starts on October 31st from 5 to 8 p.m. That's all for news, so I'll hand it off to Maya with SPTV Entertainment when we come back. Howdy Pointers, I'm Maya Visitors with your entertainment news. This weekend, Journey to Bikini Bottom with the Central Wisconsin Area Community Theater and their production of the Spongebob Musical. For weeks, a very talented group of individuals has been working hard to put together an underwater spectacular, including a Broadway alum. Hi, my name is Joel Goodness and I'm playing Squidward in the Central Wisconsin's uh, Community Theater production of Spongebob. The musical. Goodness started acting in high school before being one of the first graduates of the UWSP musical theater program. After receiving his degree, he'd go on to appear in the original Broadway cast of Crazy For You and in Star Trek Deep Space. Been performing for 40 years now professionally and it's been a great, great career. It's great to be home though. He returned to Central Wisconsin to be closer than family, but hasn't stopped performing in community theaters across Central Wisconsin. The love and the, the drive we have here in the community theater and uh, that magic that happens on stage is, is incredible. I, I'm excited to see how the, they bring the, the cartoon, the animation uh, to the live theater. 
I, I love anything that SpongeBob is doing because he is so full of life and happiness. I love watching Theo, who's playing uh, SpongeBob. He is very animated, and uh, it's going to be a fun show. So get your tickets uh, and get them booked up because it's going to great, be a great show. Performances will be at the Century Theater from October 28th to the 30th and November 4th to the 5th. For more information on performances and tickets, you can visit cwact.org. Come celebrate Dia de los Muertos with the Latina Student Alliance and Multicultural Resource Center. From October 26th to November 4th, there will be a Day of the Dead exhibit in the Edna Carlston Gallery on campus. The exhibit includes Offerenda, an altar in which guests can place photos of deceased loved ones, which is believed to encourage the departed souls to visit the land of the living. The ofrenda is open to all nationalities, ethnicities, and identities, and the gallery is located on the second floor of the NFAC. On Friday, October 28th, UWSB's own GSA will be hosting Hella Queen, a drag extravaganza. Enjoy performances from fabulous drag queens from all over Wisconsin, along with vendors, snacks, and a costume contest. The event will be from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. in the DUC Laird Room, and tickets can be purchased at the University Ticket Office for $10 or at the door for $15. Well, that's all I have for you this week. Now on to Will with your sports updates. That's set. We'll be back in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, take Ben. Live at SPTV, mic check. Audio check. News director's adjusting the sound. Teleprompter running smoothly. Floor director, alert! Cameras are rolling. Bring in the talent. Where's the makeup artist? Anchors ready for the news. Are you ready to join SPTV? That's a wrap. Lights out. Hey everyone, Will Haraldson here with all of your SPTV sports updates. Well America, it's that time of year. Hockey season is officially upon us. The Pointers men's hockey team is kicking off their season this Friday and Saturday in a home and away series against the 6th ranked St. Norbert Green Knights. Last time we saw the Pointers hockey team, they had just suffered a heartbreaking 6-2 loss to the UW-Eau Claire Blue Golds in the 2022 WIAC Tournament Championship game. The Pointers come into the series against St. Norbert with lots of confidence after they absolutely smashed Lawrence University 7-2 in their first and only exhibition. The game starts 7 p.m. on Saturday, October 29th, and you can listen live on 90FM. After a double overtime loss to Michigan State, many Wisconsin fans had little hope that the Badgers could put together another season with a bowl appearance. And while the season is not over yet, the team made some nice improvements to bring some excitement back to Madison. For the 16th time in a row, the Wisconsin Badgers defeated the Purdue Boilermakers with a final score of 35-24 in this year's matchup. While the final score would imply it was a relatively close game, Purdue really was never in the game as Wisconsin played their best overall team performance of the season. Now interim head coach Jim Leonard has his first home victory and now has a bye week to get his team ready to take on the high-powered Maryland Terrapins. With only four games to go in the regular season, Wisconsin is going to need to win out and hope Illinois drops a few games if they have any chance of making the Big Ten Championship game. The Milwaukee Bucks has started off their season 2-0, defeating both the Philadelphia 76ers and the Houston Rockets, looking very impressive doing so. Giannis is doing what Giannis does, but Brooke Lopez has stepped up and played well to start off the season. Other bench players like Bobby Portis, Jordan Wara, and Serge Ibaka are putting work in for Coach Bud as well. The Bucks will face their toughest test tonight when they take on the Kevin Durant-led Brooklyn Nets in Milwaukee. You can catch the game on ESPN at 6.30 p.m. Remember to be aware this Halloween. Stay as warm as possible and be careful about your surroundings. As always, stay safe and have a happy, happy Halloween! Halloween.